Hey, what's up everyone? So today I am taking a look at Blue Star Linux and something that was released just the other day or an update was released. So let's go ahead and get into this. I've already installed it. The install was super easy, just a simple Calamari's install. So I don't think there's really any use uh, going over any of that. So, um, all right, let's get into the desktop though. Plenty to say. Here you have two options, a Wayland or an X11 option. I could not get the Wayland option to work. So I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's just that it's not on real hardware or something. And here we are. So I like this wallpaper, by the way. All right. So, um, this is kind of how it looks, but I'm going to actually show you a little bit better, like how it looks. So let's go to the wallpaper and themes and all that good stuff. All right. Um, this is basically the desktop. Pretty cool stuff. You have a bar up here. Now this is the Plasma 5 desktop. So this isn't anything that is you know, like uh, Plasma 6 or anything. This is a Plasma 5 desktop. This is what it looks like. So like you can choose like which um, folder you want to go into right up here. This is pretty cool. I kind of like this dock here. Um, I don't know, might be better served on in other places, but I kind of like it. Uh, notifications, sound, also, no doubt. <laughs> Very good. Very minimalist. Uh, here you are. English or you wanted Spanish or something for the. All right. Um, here's your. Uh, here's like your CPU settings. Calculator. Here's the power buttons. Uh, and this is obviously the calendar. And you have your menu right here. So like you have developments, all this. So you have basically GNU, uh, a couple others, Vunior, FileZilla, Dropbox, Chromium, Blue Sky, right? For all of you Blue Skies. I just uh, opened up my Blue Sky account. I hate Twitter. I think I want to completely get away from that. Amarok for your you know, player, GUVC view, very good, Caden Live, SM Tube to play YouTube videos, VLC, MPV, good stuff right here. You have um, Calibre, ebook editor and reader, Libre Base, Libre Office Suite, and Ocular, Localize, okay, Core Control, um, Ice T, QT5 settings, and you have a bunch of stuff here in the system Dolphin, G Parted, you know, Bleach Pit, if you really want Bleach Pit, uh, Octopi, Xterm. You have their. Get, this is something that I don't understand. Like, if you come right here, the GNOME terminal. You have Plasma 5, but you have the gnome terminal like is there a reason why you don't put i don't know lacrity or kitty i i i don't understand that <laughs> i honestly don't but you know god bless um that's not my choice but i get it uh x term okay utilities arc to you know character map um G at J edit, um, K find, K docker, cool stuff, Oketa sweeper, Vim, why they don't have Neo Vim, I'm not sure. There's a couple other GNOME type uh, stuff in here. I think I saw, let me see, I think I saw Leaf Pad in here. Yes, Leaf Pad. And there's a few others that just kind of surprised me, like uh, a GNOME applications on Plasma. Okay, whatever. Um, 
and then of course down here you have like all of these uh, settings here and then if you wanted to change the desktop and wallpaper or something like this so here's the wallpaper mouse that sort of thing or you could i'm sure it's right there system settings we can go down here we could do colors and themes and here is like a bunch of different options so like let's say i wanted to choose everything like the desktop and everything like that this is what that looks like and it's a little different not terribly different So here are some of my the different uh, layouts and stuff. Uh, they look really cool, by the way. I mean, I'm not kidding. I I really like how some of these layouts are. You have Moon Over Sea. Oh, this one I think might become one of my default favorites. Maybe <laughs> this is like um this makes a lot of sense Ooh, I, me coming from alaska this will bring me right back home i've seen in the northern lights many times in fact i teach english at night and that's you know when people find out that i'm from alaska they're always like have you ever seen the northern lights and i'm like yeah every night <laughs> yeah Ooh -wee. yeah, that brings back memories. <laughs> Nine memories I want to remember. Uh, that looks cold. So here we are. Ooh, that's a nice desktop. Though. I mean, dude, guys, check this out. I mean, I hardly think this ain't like the nicest desktop. I mean, like some of these, um, uh, some of these wallpapers wow <laughs> i just have to say wow <laughs> all right so anyway this is pretty much everything that you get you get a bunch of stuff like you got dolphin console very good um we got yeah i did get put 40 gigs on this thing i actually like a lot of things about this so this is probably among the top, you know, five prettiest desktops I think I've seen. And there's a lot of other things, though, about this that is quite interesting and some uh, more positive than others, like the GNOME stuff really kind of took me back. But anyway, uh, this is a really, really beautiful looking desktop here. Um, I can't say enough about the work that has obviously been done. Okay, so just this bird's eye view of Blue Star Linux. I can tell you this is one of the most beautiful desktops I think I've ever laid eyes on. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed just taking a look at it. Some of the wallpapers are really far out and... It's just a really nice looking desktop. There is one issue when I'm installing it. There's two installation scripts that get installed with the Calamari's installer and they they start automatically, but the, the the thing is is that it doesn't tell you what each script is done and you have to close one before the other starts and then you have to close the other one before it will finish installing. And it was a little confusing. I, I you know, maybe just have like a little like a uh, line at the very end that says, hey, you can close this desk. You can close this window now. That would be very helpful, I think. Other than that, the installation was very straightforward. There was nothing to it, really. So like if you're a gamer or something like this, this may or may not be the distro for you. I'm not really sure because it doesn't advertise anything about gaming. And it didn't have any how-tos or how to get configured to maybe say like an 
if you have an NVIDIA GPU or something like that. The other thing that Wayland didn't work, so I'm expecting a lot of development towards that, and it probably might actually work on real hardware. It just didn't work in my virtual machine. So with that, all that said, I think this is an awesome project to keep an eye on. And it's probably one of the nicer looking desktops that I've seen in a while. Uh, this reminds me of, um, what was it? The one with the chaotic AUR. Um, anyway, uh, it was a different arch based distro just like this one. This is a beautiful, beautiful desktop, beautiful distro that I'm going to keep my eye out on. And who knows, man, uh, maybe I'll either, you know, someday go back to Arch on my laptop and I'd probably spin this up. Um, I do like the Plasma 5 desktop a little bit more than I like Plasma 6, but that's a whole nother discussion for another day. Anyway, what do you guys think of this desktop? Go ahead and leave me a comment in the section below. And as always, you can binge watch all of my videos. Or you could watch my latest release. So, later days.